Placebo, The Bitter End. That's the first single to be lifted from their forthcoming album, Sleeping with Ghosts, which you can hear in full on the XFM online listening posts. <laughs> I'm Ricky, your cheeky little devil, Gervais. With me, Steve. All right, ladies, what can I get you to drink? What, you think I'm made of money? I meant half a mile or something, merchant. And Carl, oh, I'm stressed, I'm stressed. If it's too hard, I don't want to do it. Pilkington. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Oh, well, it's nice to be back, Rick. Mm. Um, mm. Rick, I heard a, uh, a rumour that you weren't going to be playing great music today. <laughs> I'm assuming See, that's, that's wrong. Th th it is wrong. This is what I mean about the, 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 the grapevine and sure. just uh, Chinese whispers. I, I'm, I'm not having it. There's some great music coming up. Right. So I just heard that there was going to be uh, some boring chat. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's that. Well, I want, I want names. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to name <laughs> names, Rick, but that's the gossip well, I heard. Well, it's totally wrong. It's I heard it was gonna be inane, <laughs> ill thought out, often no. stupid. No, we're, uh, Carl's not gonna talk so much this week. We're gonna try and sort of, uh, bring, you know, bring it back to, to real radio. So that's an absolute lie. Yeah, yeah, great, 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 great. great. Alright, Carl, have a good that. week? Yeah, not bad. Have you? Yeah. Mm. Going on now, aren't you? Well, I will be doing later. Tell yeah. you about that later on. What, yeah. um, uh, can there's I just, a hook. <laughs> <laughs> can I just check? Because there are rules in place, aren't there? Yeah. There was a big, there was a big bust up in the week. Oh, I'm, not, I, I'm only allowed that. to wind him up. I am not allowed to wind him up socially now. I'm not allowed to. What am I not allowed to do socially? Um, I think squeezing the head. Okay. Uh, socially. Yes. Yeah. It's been crossed off. Right, okay. Um, and I, I agreed to that because it got to a head where, you know, Carl was really upset and he was yeah. thinking of just, uh, giving it, giving it all in, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah. What, why was that? Because you were just winding me up too much. Yeah. I mean, do you want to bring it all up again? <laughs> I don't mind. What was I doing? It was, it was just- it, I mean, I should say now that there was a conversation where it was all, it, we were all sort of really walking on eggshells. It yeah. was, it was frosty, it was a conference call, and Carl was on one end, and I'll tell you, it was- <laughs> I, mean, I was very much a media, I was very much a UN mediator. <laughs> what do you think of that, Carl? It's, it was difficult to sort of keep it serious when I'm saying stuff like, I'm sick of you putting a Burger King bag on me head. <laughs> Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. There's a part of me that's <laughs> like, I can't believe we're doing this. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. it, I what I like about it is that, um, I'm laughing and going, well, I won't, I won't do that anymore. And he's going, you can still do it on air. And it, like today I was gonna, I came in, I went to squeeze and he went at one o'clock. I yeah. love those rules. Yeah. I love those rules. Well, between the hours of one and three on a Saturday, you <laughs> can squeeze his hair, you can put a boot <laughs> back on his- wait, it's yeah. terrible. Oh well, dear. Well, that all started last week as well, really, because I got in a bit earlier to do an edit for you on some track that had swearing in it, right? Yeah. So getting early, he comes in, first thing he does is go to sort of squeeze me head. <laughs> And my reaction was, not now, do it later. <laughs> yeah. As if it's alright to do it later. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's, that's kind of what made me think this isn't normal. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. We should just point out, when, you, when we say squeezing your head, what exactly does that mean? I, I, I put my hand on the front, I do two experiments, right? Yeah. One is the side, cause I, the, you can crush an egg sideways, so I think that's more dangerous. <laughs> right. And I squeeze, I actually put my elbows out, and I press like a vice, and I really go for it until it really hurts. And the front one is, it shouldn't hurt so much, if I'm, if my experiment's right, I don't know. <laughs> Well, I mean, <laughs> well, it was all this that sort of, you know, built up. Sure. Um, and the research that you're doing there, Rick, is that going to be available online at some point? Well, that, that was the problem. That's what I was saying to him because it kind of started last week. Uh, <laughs> well, it's been going on since we've known you. Yeah, hasn't it, really? yeah, but it's, I just upped it. I just upped it, it last it, week. It got out of hand a bit. I upped yeah. it to when I, um, I think it got to uh, ahead on um, Thursday when I filmed it. <laughs> that was it, yeah. That's right, yeah. I brought in a cameraman to film me torturing him, and yeah. there was some um, people from the sixth floor being shown round. Yeah, some management and that, showing probably clients round, you yeah. know, sort of, they've probably been on all the different floors, same what all yeah. the different radio they've stations They've seen Dr. Do. Fox. Uh, this, this is XFM, the sort of alter- <laughs> this, this sort of noise going on. Yeah. You see them all look down and saying, don't do that, right? Sure. They might, they might want to spend a load of money. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's, he's doing that, he's wrestling with me, he's filming it. <laughs> so that's when I just thought, you know. It's mad, isn't it? And then when, when we were having the argument on the phone, I was saying, uh, you know, has this been some sort of experiment? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He did, he said that, and of course I lost it. Yeah. But, uh, it's all, it's all good now, well, Do you it? want to squeeze his head before we play the next record? I, I won't at the moment because, I mean, we've got to get on, it's not, it's not right. And that annoyed me as well, um, cos I was, um, trying to find out where he was going. I was filming him, I was going, I'm waiting for Carl, he told Johnny he's meeting a mate at six, so, which annoys me on two counts, and I'm just doing it to the camera, um, you know, so I'm gonna, f I'm gonna follow him and just turn up and go, alright, where you been? But then when I came and he went, oh, I'm meeting a mate, and he told me where it was, so I told him that spoils my fun. Of course. Cause I you'd, don't, wa you'd want to, 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 to track yeah, him down. Yeah, I don't want, I don't want him to like it. 
Yeah. Which is sort it's sort of taken, pulled the rug under my carpet now that he's gonna let me do- do you know what I mean? It's just- yeah. it's a little bit annoying. It's that thing though, you see, uh, this happened years ago to me, right? When, you know, you get pally with someone, mm. and then you wind each other up, mm. and then there comes a time mm. when you just go over the line. Yeah. Right? What happened? Well, it was this lad called Anthony, right, who was my mate. Yeah. And, uh, we used to sort of always have a- have a little fight in the toilet and that. Sure. Right? Um, punch each other. No, I wanna wipe it. And the, and the punches, you know, used to get harder. Yeah. And stuff. And then, you know, so he- he hit me harder. Turned out into a proper fight. Yeah. I chipped his tooth on the sink, right? Right. This happened at school, and it was time for assembly, and I thought, oh, and he's- he's in the toilet crying. I thought, oh. Go to assembly. Uh, there's a- there's police in there, in the assembly that day, telling people about unnecessary violence. And you thought they were there for you? So I'm like, oh no. Anthony's gonna come in in a minute, like, crying with all blood coming from his mouth. I'm yeah. gonna get arrested. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Did you go and, running and sleep? And that, that was an example of- Yeah. I mean, it, it kind of happened because- I went out with a girl who he fancied. How, that's how, old, that's how, how old are we? Order. How old are we now? Uh, about eight or nine. <laughs> I think that's out of order, going out with a mate's girl. <laughs> yeah, but he, she didn't like him. He had like big ears and that. He, she, he had no yeah, chance. Yeah, because you're so such a dick. No, but do you know what I mean? All right, I haven't got the looks like I used to. Sure, when you're eight. But that's, you... that's before the stress of you know having head squoes and that sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> I have aged a lot. Yes. Having your, having your own, own head squoze. I love your own grammar. <laughs> yeah. I love, yeah. Is that, that's the past tense, is it? Uh, I mean, yeah. Squeeze or to have squoezed. <laughs> oh, he did squoze his head. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so, brilliant. So, you know. It's what just about a bit of Bowie? Bit uh, Bowie? Bit, be my wife. Carl, I'm asking you. Let's make I think we can squeeze that in. Be, be, be my wife, Carl, come on. Will you, uh, miss me on holiday? No. Really? No. What? He's joking, I assume, Steve. Well, I don't know. Can you I, can't I can't tell whether he's serious or not. What no. do you mean, no? No, de definitely not. I mean, I might, when I get back, I'll go, oh, just have a quick chat, but I'm not gonna be sat there going, oh, I wish I was back in London <laughs> for Ricky to, you know. Have squoze we've, we've my sorted, head. We've sorted the head problem out. Yeah. No, I still won't. No? Okay, well that's still what I was saying. I was, uh, with Carl in the week, uh, I think it was Tuesday or Wednesday, and, uh, was it last week? There was a programme on about the child who was older than her mum. A child that was older than her mum? Yeah, right, which was, he was looking forward to as much as Oliver the, uh, the humanzy. The humanzy, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, I didn't it. see it in the end. Did you miss it no, as well? I missed it, so if And, uh, as, as what it is, is this, uh, little girl, and she's got an ageing thing, so she, he was telling me about this, so it's all from him, he went, and what it is, right, she's about five, right, but she's aged, so she's actually ninety. <laughs> right. Right? And I went, oh god, really, he went, yeah. And then he went, could she get served in an off-licence? <laughs> <laughs> I went, no. He went, well, that's not fair. I went, what do you mean? He went, well, I said, she's five years old. She's a five year old girl. He went, yeah, but she's got the body, body of a 90 year old. So, oh, God, let her have a fag. <laughs> Wouldn't you let her have one if she. <laughs> if she asked? Yeah. <coughs> if you worked in an off license and she wandered in, right? And, uh. <laughs> so she's two foot six. Well, I don't know because I haven't seen it. I don't know that much about yeah, it. Yeah, she's a five year old. It's, it's, it's just an aging process, which is a degeneration of the, the cells, like what aging is. It, it's it. It doesn't mean she grew into a ninety year old woman with a scarf <laughs> no, exactly. going around the streets. <laughs> what yeah. did you imagine it looked like? I don't know. I mean, it, she's aging fast, yeah. Yes, but it's a, it's more to do. It's not. Yes, yeah. Because it was saying that her mum and dad are pretty stressed out about it, and I kind of thought, well, you'd be forever buying birthday presents. <laughs> <laughs> It's not like she's morphing through various ages. Like, <laughs> my god, look, she's 58 today. 59, we can't keep up. Well, what, how's it's it It's not that. It's, it's not like she's going <laughs> It's, it, it, it has, has the same effect as aging on the body. So, uh, 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 at a cellular level, there's a degeneration as quick as if she'd gone through, I don't know, I'd, th I got this from you, I'm guessing, Carl. I it's not like she's watching Top of the Pops one week and she's loving it, then the next week she's going, I can't understand what they're saying. Yeah. She's not like music it's all in my bland day. dance. I remember, I, got, I, I, remember. Remember, I remember when I was four and a half, they were yeah. real bands. Now that S Club 7 were excellent. <laughs> yeah. But what's this tripe? 
S Club. But, but if she wants a fag. <laughs> she's five years old, Carl. But she's got to experience everything in a short spell of time, do you know what I mean? You've got time mm. to sort of- I think you're thinking of her life like that Fat Boy Slim video. Where it starts off as something crawling out of the sea and then it evolves really quickly over three minutes. I yeah. don't- that's not the case, Carl. Her mind isn't- she isn't aging mu in her mind at the same time. No, she's- She's not she's living the life- a whole life in like, you know, three weeks. It's just her body is- is degenerating quicker than it should. So- so, so if sense? you worked in odd bins you wouldn't serve her with a bottle of wine? <laughs> no, I probably wouldn't. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Unless she had some ID, which That's would probably cool, be fake. That's a bit cruel, isn't it? I said, well, on that and on top of all her other problems, he wouldn't even give her a glass of- <laughs> Yeah, a bottle of wine. And her ID wouldn't look right, cos he's ageing all the time. <laughs> <'cause> he... <laughs> the photo would never match. Yeah. Look at <laughs> my hair there. <laughs> oh, that was last week. Well, it was 2002. <laughs> exactly. Oh, oh well, dear. I don't, we don't know enough about it, so- No, I haven't seen it, so, uh, uh yeah, maybe we should apologise, cos that could sound callous and cruel, cos I don't know what- I don't know what the whole- it was just the title. The, the vibe of the- yeah, what I know the title, the title that excited it was you. like, I'm older than my mum. No, <laughs> the, it was- it's the child that's older than her mother. Mm. Well. Yeah. So that's- that was weird. There was some good stuff on in the week. That you missed that, that didn't you? You watched it. Didn't see that. Saw, um- Maybe someone have it on video for you? Yeah, if you taped it and you d- you know, send it in. Watch it on fast forward, she'd really age then. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> Whoa! Well, we've got some weird stuff to talk about, though. What? <laughs> Coming up later. What? Darren Brown. Oh yeah. That was interesting. I know the fact that the track- we've just talked about him asking me nicely not to squeeze his head when people are around, and a girl who I just so quickly she should be served in odd bins, and he goes, but we've got some weird stuff coming up. <laughs> That's Carl's that, world. That, <laughs> that, yeah. <laughs> It's our song, innit, Carl? Leave all this misery behind, innit? Turing breaks, painkiller. <gasps> That's what I could do. I could sort of give you a little local anaesthetic and squeeze your head and see how far it would go before. Start like when I get back off holiday. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, oh dear. Rick, I was watching music television this morning just before I came out. I love it. Um, I love it. I kind of agree with White Cliff Jean. Yeah. That just because uh, she dances loco, it don't make her a hoe. No. no. But I can't help but feel she's not helping her case. I mean, she's there every night, basically getting them out for the lads. I know. For money. Yeah. I mean, I don't mean that she's a hoe or a whore, as no, we no, say. No. But I can't help but think if you if you think people are slagging you off, calling you a whore, get a different job. Because I'll tell you this: you like the money. Yeah. She likes to she she likes the easy money. I I I'll say this: if uh, well, basically exposing and. Um, sort of uh, wobbling round uh, your minge tits and arse doesn't make you a hoe. What does? <laughs> I don't know what does. Look at Carl's head, just went down there, just went down. He doesn't like this sort of filth, I do just, you? He's thinking about Maxine. That's Who's Maxine? Maxine? That's her name. Put on your red shoes, Maxine. Oh, is it? Yeah. It's a moving song. What's the horse about at the end? Horse? I've never understood that. Never understood that. Is Wyclef doing alright? Is he- I'm always a bit concerned about the Fugees. Cos I heard uh, Lauren Hill's not- her new album's apparently not very good. Naz, or whatever his name is, I don't know what's happened to him. He's disappeared off the face of the earth. I've got oh, a soft spot for him. Oh, I think yeah. he popped up too much. I think it was a bit ubiquitous, j jumping up on everyone's. You know, he's a funny bloke as well. Wycliffe. He's, he's a lovely good man. Guy. He's a good guy. Good luck to all the Fugees. So, uh, for this good, luck, good luck to uh, all the all the lads from the Fugees. <laughs> <Indeed>. um, <laughs> Any so other bands you're concerned about? Hepburn. What the hell? <laughs> what has gone wrong with Hepburn? <laughs> oh, it does make me worry. It does make me worry. Well, uh, do you want to do some? Uh, give some stuff away. <laughs> uh, I suppose so, Carl. We could, yeah. Yeah, set it up. Set what it do you think? What is it? What? What? Which of your many competitions is this? Uh, songs of phrase. Talking oh. of competitions, I remember last week there was a big argument that um, Carl kicked Steve off the team because he was getting a little bit uppity and trying to take it this over. Is pub quiz. Isn't it? Pub quiz, yeah. But then uh, you let him back in, didn't you? Well, he was all right. He came to me afterwards and said, yeah. you know, <laughs> you're not going to kick me off, are you? And yeah. I said, well, yeah. He, he came back, sort of, I suppose, begging. He sort of, was it embarrassing or? Well, no, it's just, you know, mm. he, 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 learned his lesson. he realised he's overset the mark, like you have this week. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? We've all learned a lesson. <laughs> yeah, we've all learned a lesson. But I won the quiz, didn't I, and you didn't. Well, that doesn't matter. The no, thing is, we but I won well. all the money, didn't I? Please bear in mind he's taking part of the counts, Rick. Yeah, sure. I wasn't winding you up in the quiz, though, was I? And your, all your team was older. Yeah. Well, what's that got to do with it? Well, you've more. got a collective age, your team, of about 300. No, one, one of them is only asked, one of them's actually five, but she just, <laughs> she's just aged a lot. 
I think when I took the 11 plus we were all around the same age. That's yeah. what I mean. Yeah. Right. Your team was a lot older. What was mm. our average age, would you say? Average age probably, um, 30. Right. Yours at least 41. No. Definitely. No. Definitely. Only two of us were 40 and one- and three were about 30. No, rubbish. Yeah. Who's 30? Martin. Glenn. Oh, Glenn's, Glenn's about Glenn's, 36, yeah. Uh, yeah. About 30, but- It all helps, doesn't it? And yeah, Alps, 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 Alps. And you've all got- And Alps under 30, and Alps under 30. And you've got a better general knowledge. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We were cheating. Uh, yeah. We knew more. You just knew more stuff. Yeah, right, that's right. not allowed, is Pro it? Proper quiz time, But anyway. I wasn't winding you up, though, when I won. I wasn't gloating or anything, was I? No, I <laughs> saw when you kept sort of counting it in front of me and- <laughs> <laughs> Like he hasn't got enough cash already, Carl. <laughs> how much was it? How much, uh, how much was the prize? Uh, I can't say. It'd be gauche. Right. Is that tax free, that money? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a competition, it's a, uh, prize, isn't it? Is that true though? Is that how it works? I think so. Prize money, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know. Well, right. otherwise, well, I, otherwise I assume you'll be declaring that. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, you'll be paying right. tax on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause you know where people, I mean, the tax man could contact you via XFM at any yeah, time just to check sure. that if you wanted to. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Um, okay, prizes to give away this week. You've, uh, excelled yourself again. We've got, once again, Scotland Rocks, the very best of Scottish music, Texas Deacon Blue. Brilliant. And, uh, Jerry Rafferty. Proclaimers on there or not? <laughs> Proclaimers there, don't worry, Dele well, Mitchell's on there as well, don't worry. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sweet, don't worry. Oh, it's based on there, it's based on there. Right? I'm just checking to see if Midgeur and Hugh and Gry that's feature, right, but they don't, right. thankful. I don't know. Uh, the Rizillos as well. Oh, and brilliant. Brilliant, that that's is great. brilliant. So look forward to is that. Is Lulu on there or not? Oh, is she not on there? 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 But, uh, the wet, are the wets on there? All the wets or not? The Fair ground attraction. Uh, brilliant, brilliant. That's on there, so, uh, Is we Hootie McToove <laughs> on there? And is, uh, is, uh, Jamboree? <laughs> uh, what's this? This is another arbitrary compilation, brilliant, uh, called brilliant. Strange and Beautiful. The brilliant. Exodus album, which is quite good. Yeah. The new album by The White Stripes. Uh, the DVD Walking with Cavemen, that TV show that's on, on VHS. Uh, it's, it's still got the price on there, on VHS in case you haven't seen it, uh, Fight Club, and the best-selling book from Michael Moore, Stupid White Men. So actually some quite good prizes there, Carl. Not yeah. bad Alright, Carl, what's this, what's this competition? Right, song's a phrase, it's where I, uh, get a line that sort of is said a lot on the show, or has been said quite a lot on the show. Yeah. Is uh, this one, stop squeezing me head? No. Mm. Oh, could have done that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but what we're doing is, um, my fav- uh, The Elephant Man's my favourite film. Is okay. that the phrase? Yeah, that's the phrase that we're looking at today. The Elephant Man's my favourite film. It yeah. is as well. It's yeah. his favourite film. I know, I know. Why yeah. is that again? See, because it's funny and sad, and it, it's uh, you know exactly what you're gonna get. Yeah. <laughs> they promise you an Elephant Man, that's exactly what you get. <laughs> yeah. It's good. Have you seen it, Steve? I have seen it, It yeah. is good, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Do you remember at the beginning of The Elephant Man? Think of that! Having the, that as your favourite film, of all the hundreds of amazing films. I mean, yeah. uh, the, uh, I mean, I just mean, it's a good film and it's yeah. a moving film. Yeah, but I can't imagine it's a film I would watch endlessly again I don't and again. Care about a bloke with a no, elephant I'll head? Watch a Do you know? bit of it again huh? the other night? It's one of them that you know just sort of reminds you. You know what annoys me when he goes, yeah. "I am not an animal." Mm. He is. Well, <laughs> I mean, he speaks like one. <laughs> and what does and it help? He's got, got and he looks like one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it was a bit unfair because they never let him look in a mirror because he's a bit odd looking and it upset him. Yeah. So his hair was always a mess. <laughs> and that yeah. made him look worse than he actually was. Yeah, 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 yeah. But good film, get it out if you haven't seen it. That's the phrase today. Do you uh, know, um, my, uh, I remember my friend introduced me to that film and if you remember at the beginning there's a big montage because he is, uh, working in a, in a zoo, isn't he, or he's been kept in a zoo. And there's a sequence of, uh, of various, of elephants, I think, actual elephants kind of rampaging and it's just quite a sort of moody, atmospheric montage. Is he king of the elephants? Could well, he my friend, my friend said to me when we watched this, he said, what happens is he gets trampled on by some elephants and that's what makes him look like an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> and I went, right, and I watched it and I thought, that's not the case, and I tried to explain it to him and he's to this day still convinced that the elephant man, it's like a, it's like when Spider-Man like, was bitten by a spider. Yeah, yeah. It was his man, wasn't the it? The elephant man. The power <laughs> of an elephant. <laughs> well, his, was it his mum who got- He never forgets. Anyway. Be careful. Is it, his mum what? Wasn't it his mum who was pregnant and then they ran over her and- No, I don't think so. That's the impression I got from it. No. You are joking, aren't you? <laughs> no. I thought, I, I honestly, th anyway, right, so the phrase is, my favourite film's The Elephant Man. Oh, well, right, yeah. Man. Uh, there's five songs make up that, that sentence. Yep. Yeah. Right, this week. Have a listen, see if you can work out the songs. Email in, uh, ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk, right? Yeah. And you win all that stuff, yeah. Steve just said, so, uh, yeah. right, here we go then. The Elephant Man. Ha ha ha!
That was mostly done. Genius. Right. Let's hear it again. Yes. Here we go. Five songs there, The Elephant not, Man not is so hard, this my favourite film. Well, I thought we'd make it a bit easier. Make it a bit easier, yeah. yeah. Just, right. just one more. The Elephant Man is my favourite film. <laughs> <laughs> uh, email only ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Brilliant. <laughs> a bit of a uh, hip-hop hooray, a bit of a rap classic. <laughs> Although you may not have heard it before. <laughs> XFM 104.9, I'm Ricky Gervais, with me Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkington. Carl the K-Man Pilkin. Pilkers. Little Pilkers. Little baldy, roundy, heady Pilkers. Oh yeah, there's um, Go on. There's a what's a name. If people go to the You're website- You're joking. There's not, a, <laughs> yeah, there's not a what's a name. An actual what's a name. You, you are joking, Carl. No, it's just you reminded me. Oh, did little, I? Little round bottle lead. Yeah. If they go to xfm.co.uk, right, yeah. slash Ricky. There's a picture on there, you know that picture you did? Oh, that I drew. The one you drew of me. Uh Who put it on? Did what XFM put it on? Yeah. Did um, it look good? Uh Can well, you get into it? Can I have a I'll look? I'll have a look, yeah, I'll have a look during the What is it? XFM.co.uk? Forward slash Ricky. Right. right. And there's that little picture and people can sort of put bids in and the money goes to, uh Me, I assume, as I drew it. <laughs> no, it's for some charity thing, so... Because I, I've read, I read that I think there's been a bit of at least fifty pounds, which is pretty. No, impressive. there hasn't. I swear to God, I just saw it earlier. I deleted it because I thought someone was winding us up. You deleted it. Well, I didn't know, did I? I didn't realize, you didn't keep me informed. Well, it just. Oh. He's a buffoon, Carl, isn't he? I think, I think you're a, an idiot, but sometimes. Oh yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, well, oh, no, I'm just going to check. Cool. Just going to check the power list. Top hundred most important people in radio. What's this list? Oh, it's just the most important people in radio. Oh, 56, Ricky Gervais. That's annoying. 56. Let me see. So there's 55 more important people than me. I love the fact there that I've beaten David Mansfield, who's the controller of Capital. Yeah. <laughs> Arbitrary. <laughs> the Radio Academy power list top uh, 100. And you're what, number 56, yeah. Ricky Gervais, XFM. Yeah. I know it's we're not mentioned, Carl. What are your thoughts on that? <laughs> You know, <laughs> a little uh, stinging that I'd have thought, considering the amount of work you put into this show. Uh, don't eh? get me started. Are you on here elsewhere, Carl? No, too busy. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Moyles is number ninety-six. Oh, that's good. That's good news, isn't it? Yeah. He'll be off the list by next year, I hope. <laughs> so what is weird, Steve? Go on. Right, who's who's number one? Number one is Phil Roberts. I don't know who that is. Right, wouldn't you think that? Marconi would have got a mention. <laughs> <laughs> Marconi, now what station's he on? <laughs> that's, weird, uh, that's a point, because I got one in television and you thought John Logie Baird would have got yeah. a mention. Yeah, exactly. That, that's <laughs> yeah. great, although it's not ever, is it? Again, I'll slip out of that by next year, I'd have thought. Yeah. Oh dear. Just checking to see, uh, oh yeah, Dr. Fox, good, he's on there at number 39. I'm assuming his medical qualifications have also been. <laughs> that sne yeah, that sneaks him up the list, yeah. yeah, yeah. Typical. Pete Waterman, yeah, at number 35, that makes sense. Important guy. Can, it, can we just give them the website so they can read this at their leisure? Because this really isn't radio, is it? Right, well, xfm.co.uk. No, that website, if they want to see the most. Oh, I don't know where it is. Yeah. I'm just yeah, saying xfm.co.uk forward slash Ricky if you want to see that picture. And whoever bidded 50 quid, if you can send the email again. Bid, whoever bid. Whoever bid it. Yeah. <laughs> we should start picking you up on your grammar. I mean, we're hardly ones to speak, but, you know. I squoosed. I, I, I squoosed. <laughs> I, I tell you what, um, I listened back to last- Carl was worried about last week's show, cause he said there was too much screaming and shouting and, and, uh, just nonsense and eating birds It was a bit stuff. like It's a Knockout last week, wasn't it? <laughs> no, yeah. And I listened back to it, and it is- it was, without doubt, the most appalling piece of radio I have ever heard in my life. Really? I didn't know what I was saying. I was just then I finished and said, so, hey, hey, eat it! And he's going, oh, and you're going, Carl, they're eating a hamburger. It was bizarre. Just half an hour. <laughs> uh, if anyone didn't know, know us, or I'd never heard of XFM, I was just like going, heart when I thought, XFM when I thought, listen to this. Hey, 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 this is a burger, eat the beast, go, come out, it's very, no! It was absolutely, honestly, it was like a mental ward. <laughs> 
<laughs> to be uh, fair though, at the best of times, you sound like you're selling the Evening Standard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God. oh God! Oh, we should have the worst bits available. Should we? Just the worst bits of broadcasting ever. So where where I didn't finish the sentence, or I was just shouting, or a record. I, I mean, uh, there were swear words slipped out, and just put them all on a CD. Mm. Like uh, you know, like Panky put out the best of his phone calls. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Did it? Yeah. I haven't got the, the got worst that. radio show in the world ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now that's what yeah, I call yeah, bollocks. Yeah. Oh, Alright, calm down. That's shit. just cheap and oh. <laughs> oh no, it's Sorry, again. Very good. Oh tits. <laughs> <laughs> good to see those boys still rocking. That's A C D C. Shook me all night long. On XFM 104.9, I'm Ricky Jones with me, Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkington. Have we got the results of the, uh, quiz, Carl, or? Yeah. Yeah, I'll just play it one more time. It was Songs of Phrase. Is this <laughs> the last time we're doing this? Oh, I thought so. I thought it worked better this week because it was actually doable. Yeah. yeah. I think that makes a difference, Carl. We haven't done Carl's an idiot yet. Carl, you're an idiot, have we? Oh, well, that's a reason to keep it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can end with that one right. <laughs> when you come back. All right. All right, well, the five songs that made up this little thing here was... Mysteries, Beautiful Blues, Eels, Innocent Man, Billy Joel, In My Favourite Waste of Time, Owen, Owen Paul, Boom Rhapsody, Queen, mm -hmm. Girls on Film, Duran Duran, it sounded like this. <laughs> the Elephant Man is my favourite film. Hang on, was Bohemian Rhapsody in there? Yeah, yeah. it is. That was is the this the oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Well, we're going to give that to, uh, Piley. He just calls himself Piley. Ian Pyle. Uh, good work, Piley. What's happened to Anders? Well, I, I was just going to say, actually, we've not had correspondence from Richard Dicky Anders for some time. The Dickmeister, Dickmeister yeah. General, with his, his naughty, naughty insulting ways. Yeah, Anderson used to email regularly. Anders! Get on your computer! Get in touch, mate. What just do you think of, it? think of the show. Oh, hold on, though. To be fair, um, he was listening w when we were pretty shoddy. Yeah, like, if he's listened to the last three weeks, I think we're owed a little apology from you, Dickster. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, listen, Piley, um, we want to send you all those goodies, including Scottish rock, um, but, uh, we don't have your uh, address, so, uh, email in your address and we can send it off to you. All right? Yeah. More adverts? Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Bit of Snoop. Beautiful XFM 104.9, Gervais Merchant Pilkington. Mm -hmm. Carl had a, a treat in the week, didn't he? He couldn't believe his luck. Um, uh, we know, um, Darren Brown, you know Darren Brown, the, uh, uh, the sort of magician mind reader fella. It's, it's more special than that. Well, um, called me up in town, said, do you mind if I bring, we bring along Carl? He went, pleasure. Carl's very cynical, saying, well, he won't get into my head. Yep. <laughs> but great, wasn't it? It was brilliant. He went, can I ask him questions? I went, well, no, he's, he's social. He went, oh, I'm not coming. I went, well, uh, he went, well, I'll ask him, I want him to know how he did that trick when he said, you've got the winning ticket. I went, don't, he's not going to tell you, he's a magician. He went, well, it's not worth it then. If, he, if I can't quiz him. But yeah, he came along. I still did, though, didn't I? I got, the, got in there with the questions that the people wanted to know about. Yeah. Yeah, go on, what did you ask him and what did you find out? I said, how do you do that? I love the fact that the first half hour, me, Steve and Darren Brown were convincing Carl that he didn't see a ghost when he was five. Yeah. And then we got onto the tricks. Yeah. Well, you c- I, I mean, I, it will live in my mind, he won't get inside my head. Yeah. And he got inside your head magnificently, Carl, didn't he? I mean, were you not amazed? I mean, we, uh, Darren promised actually that he would come on the show in the future, and um, then you, the listeners, can, can see how he can baffle, amaze, and I think just should, generally freak out. I Carl. think we should film everything that happens, right? Because mm. it's just a waste, because you're only getting half of it when you hear what Carl has to say. Because his face, yeah. honestly, says a thousand words. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? It's just, uh, I think we should film it and just put it on a DVD of Carl's facial expressions. This is Carl thinking he saw a ghost. Yeah. This is Carl thinking they were going to clone a man moth. <laughs> yeah. It's just different faces. So do you want to try and explain what he did and what marvelled you so much? Right, yeah. He comes in, he sits down, I'm a bit sort of, uh, bit Skeptical spooked by him straight away. Oh, you're spooked by him straight away, were Yeah, you? there's a weird thing about him. Uh -huh. Right. So anyway, he sat there and I'm, I'm watching him. It's because he was naked. <laughs> checking, che you know, seeing, seeing what he's, you know, looking at and stuff. Yeah. So, uh, so anyway, he gets his, uh, he gets his paper out and I think, right, he's gonna do a bit of trickery and that. And he says to me, 
Right. Write down a number and a name. Right. Uh, it was between- A two digit number, a two, two digit, digit number, number and uh, uh, a uh, name of anyone you know. Yeah, right. Now the thing is, uh, I thought of the name because I was telling Steve earlier about the, uh, about the kid at school who I fell out with, right, yeah. over that, that girl who was called Aris, yeah. right? So that name was like in my mind, ready yeah. to go, because I didn't want to use anybody's name who I knew, no. sort of. Now, because sure. maybe you've mentioned it in the past. Sure. You know what I mean, I couldn't say Suzanne. I only, I only knew I Colin say Macon dad. anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Well, do you know what I mean? Auntie so Nora. I picked, I picked a name. Yeah. Well, I thought you might have been thinking about Auntie Nora. Yeah. So I picked this name, right? That you three didn't didn't really know about, yeah. right? Number just came to mind, right? So he forty-two. Says, right, we were never yeah, thinking 42, of that. Forty-two. Forty-two. Right. Yeah. He said, uh, right, just keep saying it over and over in your head. And I'm there, and he's saying all these sort of different numbers at me, and, and I'm trying to throw him off a little bit. Every time he said a number that was nothing like 42, sort of smiling, looking a bit nervous. Yeah. Don't know if you caught that, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. just, I just, all I could see was you looking, uh, sort of blank. Oh, right. Yeah. So, so he was doing that. He picked the wrong person when he said, let your mind go blank, he'd realise exactly. he picked on the wrong person yeah. then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh... <laughs> you had to squeeze his head to get it going again. <laughs> I, I said, I said, uh, I said, Darren, if in doubt, he'll be thinking of monkeys. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and Darren looked at Carl and he said, were you thinking of monkeys? He said, I tried not to and I thought of them more. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's true as well. Yeah. Right? So, um, <laughs> so I'm there, I'm there thinking of these numbers and that, and he's, uh, <laughs> he, then he said, right, let's just talk about other stuff for a bit, right? So I was like, well, I'm not gonna say anything. Yeah. Right, because I, I don't want you to catch me out. But then when we were talking, I was trying to like knock him off track. Clever. Do you know what I mean? I wasn't. I, do you know what I mean? I played a bit of hardball with him. Yeah, you know, yeah, really. yeah, 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 yeah. I was like say because we were talking about aliens and that as well, weren't we? And I was saying, well, you know, they might come and land again in 2060. <laughs> Clever. Do you know what I mean? Dropping yeah. in different numbers and sure. that, and he, so doing all that, playing him at his own game, and I think yeah. I had him yeah. for a bit I on reckon, the ropes. Right? Yeah. So uh, anyway, comes down to the. The time when he's telling me the, the name and the number. Yeah. And, uh, well, he explained what he actually did. I mean, that was. He just went, he said, just think of a number at the end of it, and, uh, and, and he said, oh, is it an I? And you went, it wasn't an I, but there is no, okay. And they did, anyway, he got, he got. He got the name. Harris. Then he went, uh, he went and said, do you an extrovert? And he wrote down these numbers. Well, he, uh, uh, actually, yeah, he, dr he wrote down some numbers and he said that if you're an extrovert, these are the numbers you tend to choose. If you're an introvert, these are the numbers you tend to choose. And he wrote them down. And he said, I don't think you're really an introvert. I don't think you're this. I don't think you're that. Da -da -da. And I think he came up with the number 32, didn't he? He said to yeah, you, you're thinking yeah. of the number 32. You said to him, no way. You couldn't believe your luck, could you, when you'd caught him out? But he said, he said it's either 42 or 32, didn't he? Yeah. Well, yeah. no, but that, the, it was beside the point because yeah. then he said, you know, rather brilliantly, if, hang on a minute, if you just add up these numbers here, that adds yeah. up to 42. It was, it was a magic if you add square. Up those numbers, that's 42. That's 42 across diagonally there. That so box yeah. is 42. All the numbers that added up on the page, whether you go across, sideways, down, across, whatever, always added up to 42. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Which. And he's got the name Harris, which name freaks Harris, you right? out. He freaked me out. I kept saying to him, how do you do it? How do you do it? And he's, he wasn't telling me. I was talking to people at work about him, and, um, one lad said, um, apparently the, the trick that he uses is the same thing that Hitler did. Play record. No, no, seriously. Just, it, apparently it's the same thing because he was saying- What? Play record. No, just let me finish no. because, no, I've even ran it by other people to check if I'm okay. right on this. Okay, so that's yeah. true play record and come Because the people in the XFM office, yeah, I mean they're pretty wise, they're up on that stuff. No, he used it in a different way. Yeah, play record. No, no. Oh, hang on a minute, let me hear it. Let me all, hear all it. All it is, it's power of suggestion, apparently. And w when Hitler used to do his big speeches to people. Yeah. Do you want to play? What should we play? Come on. Finish. Finish your point. Well, that's, that's about it. Who told you that? Ian Canfield. A few different people. Uh, oh, right. Office. The big, yeah, the big thinkers out no, there. Like, in the, office. <laughs> the, br the brain boxes. But anyway, right, it's Because, uh, <laughs> I mean, Magnus Magnusson works on it now, doesn't he? Right, listen. Or was it Paxman? Was it Jamie Paxman? that blew me away, right, that, the fact that he got the name, he got the number. Mm. Spooky bit, right? Mm. Um... I'm walking home. I, I called you up a couple of times and I left a message on your phone because yeah. it was just amazing. Not only was he good at magic, but his maths was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, that, that thing adding up to 42 was like, how did he do that? Uh, yeah. I mean, we didn't even make a big oh, deal yeah, out of that. Did that to me, he said, all Carol Borderman's got is the maths. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, imagine him on Countdown. Yeah. He didn't even know what they were going to write down. <laughs> Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, a bit of a wasted talent. I should see him again about that. I think he's- He asked him, I said, Darren, I said, why are you doing it on mucking around on telly? Then he went, sorry? Yeah. He went, why are you mucking around on telly? 
Yeah. And I go, well, he, he, said, he, said, he said, you could make some serious money. I think Steve went, well, he does all right. He <laughs> went, nah, but if he did that the ticket thing all day. Yeah. <laughs> but he's, didn't you say to him you should be working for the police force? I said, yeah, he should be in a police station. He yeah. could help people out. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's not a daft idea, is it? Not really. Right, so anyway, right, so I get home. Still, I'm calling different people up walking home. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Right, I called Suzanne up telling her about it. And she's like, slow down. She's so like a little kid who's just been on a fairground ride or something. Yeah, yeah. Slow down. Right, so I'm telling her, call me mum and dad up. My dad wasn't that impressed. No, of course He's not. like, well, that's all been done before. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, right, so- But then he wasn't impressed with little donkey, was <laughs> well, he? Yeah. He's not- he's not impressed by much, is he? Right, no. so I get in- He probably had to nip out down to the phone box. Right. Do some thieving. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We've- we've forgotten bread, no, <laughs> yeah. I'm just going on the phone box. <laughs> yeah. Right, so, uh, so- so I get into my flat, right, and what they do in my flat where I live, they- they put the post in, like, these little pigeonholes. Right, oh. and I don't normally check them out. I leave it for Suzanne to do, right? Sure. Mm. But this time, for some weird reason, I thought, right, I'll I'll check it, see if we've got any post. Open it up. There's only this. A letter for Miss Harris. Yep. There it is, bona fide in front of us. A letter addressed to a Miss Harris. Well, does she live there? No, it's my address. She doesn't live there. Did she ever? Don't know. It doesn't matter. It's it's weird, isn't it? But what, we've what never you, had what normally. There's a, there, I think there was a guy who lived there called uh, Yaki Shoki. Mr. Forty Two. <laughs> it was definitely wasn't an Aris, right? This yeah. is the first time we've had a letter for this woman. Yes. Right. But what are you claiming? Because well, Darren I, Brown himself admits that it is not paranormal. It is not supernatural. It is a mm, trick. Yeah. It's a trick. It? But he would say that, wouldn't he? Hitler said that. Play a record. Well, are we, can we open this? Cause no, I'm, it's illegal. No, but I'm thinking if what it's if a birthday card there? for someone's like 42nd birthday. Right. You can't open that letter. Go and put it back or put not no you cannot open that letter. Why not? It's you can't open someone else's mail because you think Darren Brown's uh, supernatural. What if we steamed it open? Then resealed it. No one would know. It's only a letter. You can't uh, right, I'm uh, yeah, you can, but I I've, I've stat you I, I don't want any part of it. So Carl, I think you, you open should open it. it. No, you open I'm it. I'm not opening it. It's against the law. <laughs> you should open it then. No, we won't, no, we won't open it then. They won't send off. you to prison. Look, forget no, it. You, you'll get off. Cure? Yeah. Bit, Bit of cure. There's yeah, no cure, cure no. Patient. I'm looking- what? Well, I'm tempted to open it. Well, I- Do you want to Steve? There you go. No, I'm not- no. I'm not gonna open it, but I think you should, definitely. Six Different Ways by The Cure from, uh, the album The Head on the Door. We've enjoyed that. The what? Head on the Door, Carl. Ooh, Ooh, bit of a coincidence. Spooky, isn't it? It was only four weeks ago you were talking about a head and a door. <laughs> exactly. Has the door I mean... got a number on it? <laughs> Forty-two. Oh, dear. So oh. we're not opening it? No. Well, I can't open it because as, as the producer, Right. Oh yeah, because you're standing in society as such that they'd make a real example of you. <laughs> yeah. That a producer of a tin pot radio show <laughs> once a week. Yeah. He should know better. He can press buttons and talk <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> Send him down. That you- they wouldn't try you in an adult court. You would get away. You allowed. would get away with it. Just they'd hear you speaking for a little while and they would- they would- the, the judge would end up squeezing your head and letting you off. It'd be like those people who train monkeys to break in. Do you remember? Down in South London, we talked about it in the past. Yeah. And they were going around robbing stuff. Hackney. And they'd train them to do it, yeah. I think so I think, that those, time, those, those, I don't think those monkeys would've got in trouble. It would've been the, the keepers, so... Mm. You know, I think XFM would probably take the rap. Will you open it? No, I, I can't be seen to open it. No, he's I'm a writer, director. Exactly. So am I. I can't be seen to open oh, it. I'll give it here then. Right, I'm having no part of this. <laughs> That's against the law, but right, I'm having no part of it. Open it. Come on, you start it now. Right. The okay. thing is, right, if it's important, we can say maybe she's listening. But do you need the stress? What, what? It could be anything. What are you going to say? We can say, oh, and if you are listening, Mrs. Harris, you have got gonorrhea. Call the clinic. <laughs> do you know what I mean? It could be anything. Oh dear. Oh well. I've, I've, <laughs> I think I think my um, talk did well. What well, what is it? It's the number forty two on there. Oh. What is it? Can you say? Be careful. What? Uh, let me yeah. see what it is. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? <laughs> oh. Dear sir, madam, your periodical dental inspection is now due. <laughs> 
would you kindly contact the surgery to make an appointment? Harris, Mrs. Harris, if you're listening, um, your periodical dental s inspection is now due. You'd like to, you might want to contact the, uh, yeah, but the dental surgeon mm. that you normally go to. She got, could have a, a faulty tooth. <laughs> Forty two. Forty two. Forty two. I don't believe it. Forty two. Forty two. Oh my god. God, that Darren's good. Darren isn't he? Brown's good, isn't he? <laughs> oh dear. That's some blur then. Carl, is that really seven and a half years old? Blur. The Universal. Alright. All right. Well, words there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just made me think. Sure. Carl, I asked you in the week, didn't I? Um, How old was that kid when that was out? She wasn't born. So she was about 30. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I think that's the first time we've officially broken the law on air. <laughs> Well, I don't think we've broken the law before on air, have we? alright with a dentist appointment. Well, so? we haven't broken the law, Steve, he has. You're right, I, yeah, we're well, fine. We're and fine. he should know better, he's the top producer <laughs> exactly. of a tin pot radio station. <laughs> Carl, um, <laughs> Ricky and I were doing some writing in the week and we needed a, a little, get a little book of Zodiac types. What's your thought on- Just to make sure it was good luck, you know, to be writing. Yeah. Yeah. What do you make of all that stuff, uh, horoscopes? Do you, do you, do you have any, uh, mm. thoughts on that? Now and again I'll read it, but- Sure. I'll believe it if it's good. Yeah. If it's not, just go on. What star sign are you? That's perfect though. <laughs> that, but that is, that, that, that's that raison d'etre. That is, uh, those people who do zodiacs exist on that piece of philosophy. Yeah. I'll believe it if it's good. Exactly. And that's why when you have breakdowns, people don't go, you're a nasty little piece of work, you're a pug ugly little twat, and you never amount to anything. It's things like, hmm, you're probably too generous for your own good. Yeah. Um, you, you like to keep a bit of a distance, but you like to love. You're a warm person. It's always, it's always stuff like that, isn't it? People go, I suppose I am too. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, that is me all over. Yeah. Mm. Do you you're, know what I mean? You're a creative person. Yeah. Who thinks they're not a creative person? Exactly. You've got a wonderful sense of humour. Uh, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. What, what starts on you? Um, mine changes. I'm on the edge. Oh, right. God. Okay. He even makes that complicated. <laughs> of he I even am. makes twaddle complicated. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just. It changes depending what paper you read. Yeah. All right. In Tw theory, twenty third of September. So I think yeah. most of the time I'm a Virgo. I think. Oh. Well, I'll tell you. Write, write that down, uh, listeners. Twenty uh, third of September, uh, and come round and give him the bumps. <laughs> Um, what, what I mean? Well, according to this, I mean, it, I, I mean, you've been criticising this, Rick. Sure. You've been saying that there's maybe not, not anything in the zone. Yeah, yeah well, hang on, let me just read the, the uh, I'm, I'm, Is this going to change my mind? Well, Am I going to eat my words? The typical Virgoan. Mm, words. Okay. The what? physical appearance of the typical Virgoan. Yeah. High forehead. That's not true. Cranium may seem too big in comparison with the face. Look at Carl, look at Carl. But how specific is that? Has an extremely large forehead. Has a high hairline. That's mm. not true though, is it? Maybe quite tall. What are the blokes like? Often has one foot turned in more than the other. What do they- they've just described Rain Man! What is that? How can I be specific? Well that's why it sounds like Carl! <laughs> <laughs> what, one foot turned in? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well have they even bothered doing one for you? Because there isn't many people who- Hang on a minute. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Go on. What are you I, saying? I, I sort of think I'm fairly average looking, but I'm saying, have they wasted a page in that book for whatever you are? <laughs> <laughs> it started off me being dissing him and stuff, and you've been nice. Hang on a minute. I don't think you can be a Virgoan because it says uh, that they are normally quick, alert, and intelligent. <laughs> But no, actually, I have to say, it says here, the uh, behaviour and personality traits of the Virgoan, uh, uh, is an, it, as a child, is an excellent mimic, uh, can learn many things in a short time, yeah. not really true of you, is it? What, Re what, rarely like, questions what? authority, but frequently questions facts. Yeah. You never question facts. Yeah, you never question authority, he's <laughs> scared of authority. Yeah. Um, uh, da -da 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 -da. yeah, you were usually told, very, very upset if teased. That's true. Yeah, yeah. oh yeah. Hang on a minute though. Yeah. Can't take a bit of stick, too it much depends, pressure. If you yeah. can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. Yeah. Oh. What to teach a young Virgoan? Myths, fairy stories, make-believe, daydreams and how to use imagination should all be taught to young Virgoan so they have plenty of magical moments to remember in their adult years oh. when they are often alone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm changing my mind. I know. This is good stuff. So, this is really good stuff. Alright, well let's see, what, what are you? 
Uh, well, um, I don't, don't think we should talk about that. Yeah, let's, let's have a look. It says the Vergoen is- I love some of the specifics of this. Vergoen is oh. an employer. He's excellent as the boss of a small company. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Don't get him on a Tuesday. He's yeah, probably he stamp can't. collecting then. Yeah. On, he so loves a bit um, of haddock. Okay, let me look at my- um, Oh, that is good though, Carl, isn't it? That is you all over. I've changed your mind. It's brilliant. It's a real science. They've really put their work in with this one. Let me see, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, uh, Sagittarian is a happy, playful little clown. Little. Greets everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me see, Sagittarius at home. Um, He's only gonna read the good bits though, isn't he? Yeah, exactly. If that says, what, what can it say? Mm. Uh, have, they, have they done yours in sort of small print, cos you've got special eyes? <laughs> I don't know what that insult is, Carl. What kind of an insult is that? Well, he you know. He's happy with that. Look at his face. He's done me. Oh, oh dear. And come back to me. With that. Boo hoo hoo, it won't do. Listen to the Gallagher boys and stop crying your heart out on XFM 104.9. No need to. It's monkey news. <laughs> So that is it time. Time, time for monkey news. Can we have the jingle? <laughs> oh, chimp party that monkey news. <laughs> I love the jingle. Right, well, well uh, can we play that jingle once more? Yeah. Let me cue it up. <laughs> so, chimpanzee that monkey news. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. Got a lot to live up to now. I'll yeah. be honest with you, often that jingle is more fun than the monkey news. Well, yeah. So you've got to excel yourself this week. Well, it's, uh, there's been a lot going on. Um, <laughs> in the monkey world. Yeah, uh, I was looking at the Guinness Book of Records that we bought last week. Mm -hmm. What you bought? What that I bought. Yeah. Is uh, it still wet? I was cleaning the tea off it, I was having a, <laughs> having a little read through. And uh, there was some monkey stuff in there, there was um, this isn't the actual story, I'm just telling you yeah, what, what, it's like, what it's like looking up monkey news all <laughs> <Yeah>. week. <laughs> it's like behind the scenes. <laughs> yeah. It's like the making of monkey news, which is actually available on DVD. <laughs> exactly. It's, uh, you know, 12 minutes unseen footage, just the making of monkey news. <laughs> which is my favourite bit in a way. If, if, you, if you enjoy monkey news, see how it happens, see, yeah. you know, from conception to... Uh, <laughs> it's all put together, yeah. yeah. go on. Yeah. What's a typical monkey news day? <laughs> well, there was, uh, there was some stuff about a monkey in the Guinness Book of Records. I think it, it had the record for asking for a cup of coffee in 23 different ways. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's good. Uh, just to show the monkey news is, is getting bigger and people are covering it. Donald McIntyre, he was on on BBC. Yeah. On Monday. No, he was on Channel 5, wasn't he? No, no, he hasn't moved over yet. This oh, is right, something right. that he did for the BBC. Right. So that was, that was pretty good. That was about, uh, well, it wasn't good. It was pretty... Pretty sad, really. What? Um, he was doing this thing. Do you know, like last week we were doing cheapest chimps. Yeah. And someone emailed in saying, you know, Donald McIntyre's doing cheapest chimps. Really? And it was about. Um, I, I bet he wasn't. I bet Donald McIntyre did not do a program called Cheapest Chimps. That title. No. But you could tell where they'd got the format from. Sure. You know what I mean. Sure. And it sure. was uh, it was about gorillas and how much you can get one for. But the problem was because they're that pricey. Huh? They were sort of. I mean, I don't even want. It is depressing. If it's, if it's cool, then don't. Yeah, forget yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, it was a bit. Okay. Uh, you know I mean, in, to I just say, uh, in the making of monkey news and cheapest chimps, not not, and you'll know one's harmed. <laughs> no monkey. No, 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 go on. All right. Well, anyway, today's today's story uh, is emailed in. Uh, so you didn't even do anything towards it. <laughs> well, so when you say I've been working on monkey news, what you you printed that out? So it's the making of monkey news. You checking your email. Well, Brilliant. no, I'm always looking at different options at, you know, how much is going on. This yeah. is what makes me laugh when he says he's, he's really busy. Yeah. I'm doing other stuff and that. I'm doing other yeah. stuff. People are sending him monkey news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You get an email. Is it from it Reuters? Out. Well, listen, it's from Steve. Okay. Right? Uh, now what it is, is this monkey, right? Yeah. Don't know where it was. Mm-hmm. Uh, but there's a bit before the monkey anyway, right? Jeez. It, is this, no, listen. Shoot me. Right? It's a bank. There's this bank, right? Busy bank. Normal yeah. day, everything's going normal, yeah. right? Busy bank, people going in, doing what they do, seeing about mortgages and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Everything's normal, everyone's yeah. happy, right? Yeah. So anyway, it's quite busy one day. Fella comes in with a gun and a balaclava on. Oof, up to no good. Right, I'll tell you now, Carl, if this fella turns out to be any ape or monkey-related species, 
you're never doing this again. <laughs> you, you are never- uh, so, so just, if you want to finish it, it's at your own risk. But if this fella who robbed the bank turns out to be a chimpanzee, that's the end of Monkey News. Alright. Okay, let's right. hear the end. It's a- it's a lovely day in a lovely bank, everyone's happy. Everything's normal. A um, man comes in in the balaclava. Man comes in. Starts, Is it a man? Starts waving a gun around. <laughs> Shut up, Rick! Let me- let me finish the story. Starts waving a gun around. Yeah. Right? Up to no good. So, everyone's thinking, oh god, you know, wish you didn't come in here, it's not gonna be a good day. How tall is the man? Shut up! Let's hear it. Uh, everything, you know, oh god, and he's telling everyone to get down on the floor. Yep. Everyone's in what, thinking, in English? Shh. In English? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. So everyone's panicking, everyone's getting on the floor thinking this is it, this is, you know, it's all over. Yeah. Just when you think, you know, it could it's all bad worse. news, yeah. it's all bad news, doors swing open, little monkey wanders oh in. Oh god, it's worse. Shut up, Rick. Little monkey wanders <laughs> in, right? The robber's like, what's going on here? He's yeah. telling it to get down on the floor, I don't think it was taking any notice. No, right? it was just busy asking for coffee. It runs in, I don't know if it was kind of withdrawal or, or deposit or whatever, <laughs> it wanders in, right? Uh, get, goes up to the robber. Where did it- where did it come from? Shut up! Will you let him finish the story and then ask questions? That's okay. only fair. Okay. Wanders in, uh, runs up to the fellow with the gun, takes the gun and the bag of money off him. Everyone's like, yay, you know, we've been saved. Then the monkey starts backing out with the gun and the money. <laughs> Shut up! Don't, sit down, sit down yeah, and I'm, I'm not having this. And he does, he, does, he does a runner with the- with the money and the gun. No one's seen it since. You are an idiot. I mean, you are- you have said some stupid things in your time. What are you talking about? It's a story that happened. No! What are you talking about? What do you mean it backed out? It came in, whether- was it as an accomplice? Was it an opportunist monkey robbery? What are you talking- think, Carl! Think! I know it's mad, that's- that's the idea of monkey news. We're telling people how- how like, how monkeys are, are pretty, you know, they're mental. Yeah, <laughs> they're up to no good. What are you- think? They've never seen the monkey since. What, did he have a get- getaway car waiting? Did he swing his way to freedom? Where was this? There's no details. Don't talk rubbish! Well, uh, Steve, Steve emailed it in, he's got it off the net, and the funny oh, okay. thing is, Can the I funny thing is, the there? yeah, the funny thing is, um, it, it wasn't just him who sent it. I had that a couple of times, so a few people obviously read the story and said, you know, that'll be good for monkey news. It doesn't say anymore, it doesn't say if he went off to Spain, it doesn't <laughs> say, you know, what, you know, if he's on crime watch, yeah. it doesn't say any of that, it's just saying that's what he did, that's the story. And that's what Monkey News is about. I've heard that they're making a movie version with Phil Collins. <laughs> 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 so I look forward to that and Judy Waters. So that's that's this week's Monkey News. If you got any, you know, well, anything. No, don't in, bother. In your that's the end. No, that is the end. That's the end of Monkey News. No more Monkey News. This is uh, Bit of Queen. It says it here in this email, Rick. It's got to be true. Right. Seven seeds of one. Nice to hear that one again. Always. Metal Mickey, Swade, on XFM 104.9. Well, nearly over with, uh, Ricky, Steve and Carl. I've done another little sketch for you, Carl, cos, uh, I was excited by the fact that we raised that money, so I've done a little- Well, it's not- it's not over yet. It's like people go to the website, and if they think it's worth more than 50, they can say, oh, I'll give you 55 or something. Well, so they've actually put that little one on, it's all three of us, innit? Well, they haven't but, done that yet. No, but they can put that they on next do, week yeah. and uh, they can frame it for them, can't they? Well, if they have a look. XFM.co.uk forward slash Ricky, and have a look at it if you want it. Just pay some money and. Now, <laughs> it'd be worth a bit of money, won't it, in a few years? When we're all dead. Mm -hmm. Now, listen, Carl, you're going on holiday. You yeah. need a little rest, don't you? Yeah. What's it, what's the, what's the vibe? What's the vibe of the day? What, what's the, what's the, uh. Just, uh. Um, what's the crack on holiday? Come on. Where are you going? Madeira. Right. Good. Um. It's for Suzanne's dad, right? My girlfriend's dad. He's sixty, so yeah, she's that's the average age in Madeira. Checking, uh, is it? It's, good, it's quite done, quite yeah. Well, my mate Damo went to Madeira, um, and uh, he was worried about sort of terrorism on the plane. And he looked around. And he thought, well, if someone gets up, someone will wrestle him to the floor. And he re looked around, and uh, he was the only one he realised could have got out of his seat quickly <laughs> enough. So uh, you'll enjoy it. It's quite quiet. It's nice. It'll be alright. I mean, it's the first time a, a mum and dad have been away, so... Whatever. 
abroad, yeah. So right. they're, they're worrying about, they just don't understand the rules and stuff, so they, they're panicking a bit. And then in the week he called up, well, they're, they're, they're gonna take livestock. Yeah. Well, well it's getting like that, it was like- Are they, are they filling <laughs> loads of Durex with heroin as we yeah. speak? <laughs> 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 no, but- um, do they know about passports expiring, don't they? they I mean, know, they're not completely stupid. Uh, they know about all that, right? Yeah. And, uh, he called up in the week, one of the questions said, uh, what's the best thing when you're going abroad, what's the best thing to use to carry tea bags? Mm. So it was like, what are you worrying about that for? They'll sell, they'll sell tea bags out there. And he's like, well, we want to take, take our own. <laughs> it's like, they'll sell tea bags. Yeah. And he's worrying about that. He's saying, can I put it in a glass jar? So put it in a glass jar then. <laughs> He said, oh, I'll bubble wrap it. So he's bubble wrapping a, a tea thing, it's just, I mean, it is annoying me a bit, cos it's meant to be a week off from, from you annoying me and already he's niggling me. <laughs> yeah. But you are easily that. wound up, you are a very finickety little fussy person, you don't like any, the slightest bit of pressure. See, I thrive on pressure, I'm ba 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 work in here, work in there, bada bang. That's the I work as well, that's always doing stuff, monkey news. <laughs> I mean, oh yeah, Monkey News, I've got an email, I won't phrase. read it to on air, it's rubbish, yeah, but I, that, that's one not, feature, not that's my bit done, that's all I have to do. Well, I'll tell you what, when I'm away next week, do Monkey News and see what you can find out. Alright? Ooh, there's a challenge. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> see what you can do. Yeah. I've already told them about the Guinness Book of Records one, so you can't use that. Yeah. Right. We're gonna find the best Monkey News ever, Carl. Wow. What was it you said to me about, cos, uh, I mean, the thing is that you don't really like people, do you? That's the truth of it. People annoy you, don't they? They wind you up. Yeah. What yeah. was it you said to me about friends? You don't- He doesn't like friends. He doesn't, like he doesn't, want, he doesn't, friends. He doesn't want any more friends. He doesn't want any friends. Is it because one day they'll ask me to help them change a tyre? Yeah. What was it you- No, it's always hassle. Well, the I tyre mean, he sits and swings on yeah, in his back exactly. garden, he means. It's, it's just- <laughs> the, 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 they call up, they ask for stuff, they want favours yeah. doing. Yeah, they, they want a- they want a pint, they want to chat to you because they like you. I know they're a pain in the arse. I- just, I tell you what, Carl, you're better off without them, mate. Yeah. Although, to be fair, Rick, friends like you. <laughs> yeah. You're not judging them on me, are you? You're not judging all you possible all friends, friends on me. Like him. Uh, just that they, they do sort of, you know. You know, some friends will never touch you around the head oh, or never. I want to see you for a week, am I? Oh. You oh. should get a deeper squeeze. squeezing. I am going to get a little squeezing. Can I come around there and squeeze you? Squeeze oh. him in now. It's pretty nice. Hurry up while we're going to add some ads and that's it, really. Is that it? We've got no time for records. That's a shame. Well, a quick squeeze. A quick squeeze. That's like a Benny Hill slap there on the Yeah, Alright, that's that's enough of that. Right. Okay. I'm not squeeze it, squeeze it. Alright. Oh, that's it, that's it. Excellent. Will that do later. you for a week? Yeah. Alright. See, See you later. next week. See you later. See you, Rick. Have a good holiday. Alright. Excellent.